we received numerous questions concerning mm -hmm. ethics. In particular, what happened to ethics in business and on Wall Street? You know, using ethics and integrity in the same sentence as Wall Street is questionable. At Here's best. the thing. Making money is what business is all mm -hmm. about. It's what Wall Street is all about. But not if making money means you damage the infrastructure in the process. And yet, we've seen some business leaders in this country, and we'll call them business leaders, do exactly that. Hmm, who might you be speaking of? Dick Fald, who ran Lehman Brothers right into the ground into bankruptcy by making huge bets on subprime mortgages, might it have been him? Or maybe it was Herb Sandler and Mary and his wife, the husband and wife team, mm -hmm. who unloaded their savings bank that just happened to be full of toxic mortgages just minutes before the whole mortgage time bomb went off. Go figure. What a surprise. Let's talk about Angela Mazzillo. Mm -hmm. He comes to mind when we're talking mm -hmm. about this. He's the co-founder of Countrywide Financial Group. He became the poster child as one of the highest paid executives of our time. And Countrywide was at the center of the subprime lending mess one out of every 11 mortgages owned by Countrywide was considered risky. So where do we go from here? Well, this season I was really fortunate to get to spend a lot of time with Mr. John C. Bogle. Now, he's a legend in the financial world, and he's also known for his harsh criticism of the ways of Wall Street. And he's also earned the reputation as being kind of the champion of the small investor because he feels that brokers and financial advisors charge way too many yeah. fees and that makes it difficult for everyday investors to profit in the stock market. He's someone whom I really consider an expert on the subject of ethics and business. And here's some of what he had to say when he sat down with Pam this season. Any aspect of professional behavior and professional conduct and the ethics that go with the role of a professional have been reduced greatly, if not abandoned in many cases, in favor of business, business, business. And the problem with Wall Street is, I, frankly, if they have to blow themselves up with their own dynamite, that suits me just fine. <laughs> but, I, but I don't like a lot of innocent victims out there that did nothing to create this mess and are paying an extreme uh, financial and personal price. It is not fair and it is not right. And it is not just. So John Bogle's anger is clearly directed at Wall Street. Yep. And his real wrath at those who put their own money-making interests above and ahead of their shareholders or their clients, for that matter. He says, you know, just because you can get away with it doesn't mean you should. Right. You know, it wasn't very many years ago when the standard of conduct, there were some things one simply did not do. You just don't do that. That's all. You don't need a rule to tell you. And that changed to if everybody else is doing it, I can do it, too. There is not just a nation of gray or a world of gray. There is black and there is white. And we darn well better figure out what the difference is. On the other hand, going forward, John Bogle says, the capitalism still works, but you have to have rules and you have to have some new guidelines for financial advisors. And this is what he said to me about that. We need to reform capitalism. And my own personal view is put the clients first. Don't charge those excessive fees. Participate in corporate governance and force those corporations out there to operate in the interest of their shareholders. Focus on the long term, we'll call that investing, and not on the short term, we'll call that speculation. It's a tough, long job, and we have to hope that we'll be able to grow our way out of some of the problems that, that have just been raised. With a little fiscal discipline and a little intelligent planning um, and uh, a good leadership, uh, and a terrific generation coming along, I don't think it's impossible. You know what? This is an industry that was begging for a black eye, and they finally got it. Now, how much better will it be going forward? We'll just have to wait and see. I can tell you that ethics in business is now a required class in many of the top business schools around the country. And this is good to hear. It's one of the most popular classes as well.